Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration, is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. So that's what all this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to... change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me, a trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but... It's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I don't think less of you. More, if possible. The things you say. I mean it. My father never understood. Living a lie... It festers inside of you like poison. You have to fight for what's in your heart. I agree. I see you enjoy playing with fire, Inquisitor. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. Oh, you're always on the go. It's tiring to watch you. I need to talk to you. Oh. I am, as you say down south, all ears. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers? Perish the thought. It'll have to be brandy, won't it? A little early, but that's never stopped me before. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me, Your Reverence. Oh. 
Oh. I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinter, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell then? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Oh? I'd like to hear what these rumors are, exactly. I... could not repeat them, Your Worship. Repeat them? So, you've shared them before. I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. It does make me wonder. Is my influence over you undue? Perhaps. But it's the kind of undue influence I enjoy. No one accused you of being politically astute. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I tease you too much, I know. It's helpful when you turn that scathing wit on people other than me. I'll have to find something we can do that doesn't involve teasing. Soon, ideally. How oh, you're always on the go. It's tiring to watch you. I need to talk to you. Could at least bring me wine? Loosens the tongue, so to speak. I was hoping to steal a moment alone with you. <laughs> I need to talk to you, he says. Have it your way. But let's go where a hundred onlookers won't think I'm stealing the Inquisitor's soul. I have something for you. Here it is. Now I'm indebted to you. I never wanted this, I told you. I didn't do this so you would be indebted to me, Dorian. I did it for you. That's the problem. How is that a problem? Someone intelligent would cozy up to the Inquisitor if they could. It'd be foolish not to. He can open doors, get you whatever you want, shower you with gifts and power. That's what they'll say. I'm the Magister who's using you. Let them say whatever they want. I don't care about them. Naive but adorable. I am apparently an incredible ass at accepting gifts. I apologize and thank you. I'm going to stop before I say something syrupy, but I won't forget this, and I will repay you. Count on it. So... It's all very nice, this flirting business. I am, however, not a nice man. So, here is my proposal. We dispense with the chit-chat and move on to something more... primal. It'll set tongues wagging, of course, not that they aren't already wagging. I suppose it really depends. How bad does the Inquisitor want to be?
I thought you'd never ask. I like playing hard to get. And now? I'm gotten. I like your quarters. Do you now? Don't misunderstand. I'm not suggesting we venture into mutual domesticity. I just like your appointments. Ah. Not that I couldn't suggest some changes. Your taste is a little... austere. If you want to change things around... No. That's not what I want. I'm curious where this goes, you and I. We've had fun. Perfectly reasonable to leave it here. Get on with the business of killing archdemons and such. More than just fun, Dorian. Speechless, I see. I was... expecting something different. Where I come from. Anything between two men, it's about pleasure. It's accepted, but taken no further. You learn not to hope for more. You'd be foolish to. So let's be foolish. Hard habit to break. I'm good at breaking things. Hopefully not everything. Care to, uh, inquisit me again? I'll be more specific in my directions this time. <laughs> Show off. There was an ancient dowager looking for you. Said she had 12 daughters. I told her you'd left already. You can thank me later or now. But you look lost in thought. Something on your mind? Maybe I could have forced some kind of peace agreement. Maybe Selene didn't have to die. Sitting on the throne's a risky job. She knew that. At least her empire's safe, yes? What you need is a distraction. I have just the thing. Let's dance. I was hoping you'd ask. Thank goodness one of us has a little initiative. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tevinter. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. You would just leave? What about... Us? Trust me, Amethyst. It would give me no pleasure to leave your side. You make monumental decisions affecting the entire world. How can I not consider some of my own? Why don't I go with you? Take you away from all this? I can't ask that of you. You don't have to ask. I'm offering. Tempting. We both know you would end up doing it all yourself. As much as watching my homeland beaten into submission would amuse me, this is something I need to do. If that's what you have to do, I understand. There you go. Breaking my heart. This is your fault, remember? You inspired me with your marvelous antics. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. Inquisitor, are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And you're alive. And I'm alive. Incredible, isn't it? 
And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good Tabinta. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. Mappy, you're here. After all that's happened. I fully expected to die. It would have been thematically appropriate. And you? You could have been a martyr. Oh, the songs they would have composed. There will still be songs. Yes, but they won't have the same gravitas. We'll just have to be satisfied with being alive. And together, I've decided to return to Tavinta. Perhaps not right away. Too many interesting things here. Plus, there's you. It'll be hard enough to leave, but I certainly won't until I'm through with you. Or I'm through with you. Oh, please. We both know that won't happen. Going somewhere, Amatus? You didn't think one brief chat would be enough, did you? <laughs> you do know we have all the time in the world now. You say that, but I'm not waiting until the sky splits open again. See? Much better. Yes, yes, I'm sure you have all the things to say. Two things in private before you run off. First, you are terribly dull and I hate you. And what's the second? I hope this ends soon. <laughs>